Good afternoon. Let me start my presentation by introducing you Winmo Group of Companies. Winmo is established in Singapore in 1992, uh, was 29 years ago. We have successfully carried out 2,500 projects and we are accredited by the Singapore Accreditation Council. Our mission is to commit to quality testing in compliance with international standards and or that of the specifying authority and to ensure testing results are reliable, accurate and unbiased. Winwall is an independent company that specializes in performance testing in curtain walls, windows, door system in the building and construction industry. We are one of the largest testing centers serving the Asian markets, and we are located in five different countries, and we have six laboratories. We are, we are equipped with modern testing equipments, or testing are conducted to initial compliance to international standards, such as the STM, AMA, SS, BS, or specification required by the authority. Why win more? Uh, we are independent. We are not associated with any facade contractors, consultants, or main contractors. We are accredited by National Accreditation Council to ensure credibility. We are experienced. Uh, Winwall was incorporated in 29, uh, 1992, which was 29 years ago, and we are competent in uh, testing. We are able to accommodate specimens of various dimensions and our test chambers are readily available. In Singapore, we have uh, 1,500 meters square of uh, concrete floor space. We have uh, six test chamber, which can be partitioned into 10 test chamber. The biggest chamber being 18 meter wide by 17 meter height. The uniqueness of this uh, lab is that most of the test chambers are indoor, covered by a 23 meter height roof. It has a five ton electrical hose overhead hoist at big 80 meter height for mock up installation. This lab is accredited by the Singapore Accreditation Council with single certification of accreditation. In Johor, Malaysia, we have uh, 3,000 meters squared of concrete space, uh, two 12 meter by 12 meter height chamber. Like Singapore, it is accredited by the Singapore Accreditation Council with single certificate of accreditation. In Malaysia, Kuala Lumpur, we have uh, 2,300 meters squared of concrete floor space. It has six test chamber, which can be partitioned into eight test chamber. The biggest chamber is 12 meter width by 12 meter height. This lab is accredited by Standard Malaysia with same certificate of accreditation. In India, Chennai, we have 2,600 meters squared of uh, concrete floor space. It has six test chambers, which can be partitioned into nine test chambers. The biggest test chamber is 15 meter wide by 15 meter height. This lab is accredited by the National Accreditation Board of India with NABL certificate of accreditation. In Vietnam, Ho Chi Minh City, we have 2,000 meters square of concrete floor space and 2,000 meters square of non-concrete or space. There are four test chambers. The biggest chamber is 12 meter wide, wide by 12 meter height. This lab is accredited by the Bureau of Accreditation Ministry of Science and Technology with the VLAS certificate of accreditation. Lastly, we have the lab in Philippine Club. We have 2,000 meters square of concrete space and uh, four test chamber, the biggest chamber being two 12 meter wide 
by Chomito Heights. The main content of my presentation are as follows. I will briefly um, mention the test standard company used for PMU testing. I will explain why we need to conduct performance testing. SS6542020 code of practice for curtain walls, on, which was launched uh, launch, uh, in Singapore early this year. It's a new stand, uh, Singapore standard. Um, it has a system, it contains a system characteristics, performance criteria, materials and finishes, fabrication and assembly, handling, storage, and installation, maintenance, monitoring, and durability, testing, and evaluation. I will present the testing and evaluation of this section of SS654 in details. And lastly, I will show some photos of the common failures during testing. Testing standards. Under the laboratory testing, we have ASDM, American Standard of Testing Materials, AMA, American Architectural Manufacturing Association, ASNJS, Australian New Zealand Standard, and SS Singapore Standards. ASDM E283 is a standard for air infiltration. ASDM E330 is for structural performance. ASDM E331 is for water penetration test. ASDM E547 is for cyclic water penetration test. AMA501.1 is for dynamic water penetration test. AMA501.4 is for seismic and wind-induced industrial drifts testing. AMA501.5 is for thermal cyclic testing. AMA501.7 is for vertical instastory movement test. AS NJEC S4284 is for testing of building facades. SS654, which I mentioned, is the new Singapore standard for code of practice for the curtain wall. And SS381 is the old uh, Singapore test, uh, standard for performance testing. SS212 is for window testing, and AS4420 is for window testing Australian standard. Well, for fuel testing, we have AMA501.2 water test, ASTM E1105 water test using the chamber method, ASTM E783 for A infiltration, infiltration test, BCA OT66-201 is for water test as a Singapore standard. Two main categories. Laboratory testing. Laboratory testing is the way you did the design of the curtain wall system to minimize air leakage, ensure water tightness, and structural integrity. Lab test is also to resolve any design faults before final production and installation of the curtain walls. Fuel testing. Fuel testing is to evaluate workmanship of installation, so highlight any unforeseen site assembly problems and use as a means of quality control in installation. There are five main uh, tests. The air infiltration test, which is infiltration and infiltration, water tightness, static pressure, dynamic pressure, and psychic pressure, structural performance test, movement test, lateral movement and vertical movement, and load test. Basically, the um, testing uh, method of the American standard, the Australian standard, and New Zealand standard, and the Singapore standards, are similar. There are some differences in testing procedures 
and testing parameters plus testing questions and criteria. The important point is, no matter which standard you choose, the facade must be tested and it must be tested before installation on site. Why performance test? Air impermeability test. Building an airtight facade for the entire building is impractical. So a limited air leakage is allowed. Air permeability test is to verify the air leakage is within the limit leakage allowable specified by the standards or by the consultant. It's to limit the air exchange between the exterior and interior of the building to save energy costs, it's to prevent noise, dust, and condensation in building interior. Water tightness test. Water leakage is the most common problems occur in building facade. Water tightness test is to validate the facade system is able to prevent water leakage from simulated heavy rain with strong wind. This ensure no water leakage for damaging interior fittings and finishes. Structural performance test. Why we do that? Strong winds can break glass and dislocate external creddings, sunshade, and fins of the building facade. These broken glasses and foreign items can cause serious injuries or even death to building occupants and pedestrians on the street. Structural performance test is to validate the structural integrity of the facade system to withstand design wind load. It is also to ensure the safety of occupants in the buildings and pedestrians on the street. Movement test. Movement caused by building sway in the story drifts, seismic activities, life and dead loads can break glasses and dislocate creating sunsets and fins. These broken glass and fallen items can cause serious injuries and even death to occupants and pedestrians. Movement test is to sim simulate lateral movement from building sway or seismic activities. It's to simulate vertical movement from life and dead load or seismic activities and to ensure safety of building occupants and pedestrians. Load test is to validate the structural integrity of building maintenance, the BMU, sunshade and fin. It's to ensure safety of maintenance, personnel and pedestrians. SS 654 2020 Code of Practice for Curtain Wall. I will go through with you the details of the testing and ev evaluation section of these standards. Sequence of tests. In this, uh, in this standard, the sequence of tests is as follows Pilot, shash opening and closing cycles, air permeability, water tightness, dynamic water tightness, structural performance, repeat air permeability, repeat water tightness, horizontal movement racking, vertical movement racking, repeat water tightness, building maintenance unit load test, foot load test, external features load test. Those tests with the asterisks are to be specified by the consultants if deemed necessary for a particular project. Under test specimen, unless otherwise specified, the test specimen should be at least three panels in width and two Malian Spain in height. The largest opening van should be included. Ideally, representative corner conditions should be included. I'll show you some photos of the test specimen recently tested in Singapore. These are three of them. Another three test specimens. I'll go to review the um, sequence of tests. The first test is below pilot. 
50% of design wind load applied to the interior or exterior surface of the wall for 10 seconds. Opening such 50 cycles and close, opening and closing cycle, 50 cycles. Air, air permeability test, test pressure to 20% of design wind pressure or plus minus 240 Pascal, whichever is bigger or greater. Test pressure in one step or three equal incremental steps. Water tightness test. Test pressure in three equal steps to 30% plus 0 0.5 times of the building height in meter of design wind pressure or 240 Pascal, whichever is great, greater. For example, if your test pressure or your design pressure is 1000 Pascal, and your building height is 100 meter, 30% of 1,000 Pascal will be the 300 Pascal, plus the 0 0.5 multiplied by the building height of 100 meter will be five. So your test pressure for your water tightness test will be 30, 305 Pascal for, for a 100, for a 1,000 Pascal design in load with a 100 meter height building. The water flow rate is minimum four liter per minute per meter squared. And the requirement is that there should be no water leakage observed from the sample. Dynamic water penetration test or water tightness test. Test in accordance with AS and JAC S4284 psychic water test or test in accordance to ARMA 501.1 dynamic water penetration test. Minimum water flow rate is four liter per minute per meter square. And there should be no water leakage from the sample. I will show you a video for the dynamic water test that was done recently in Singapore. The uniqueness of this um, test is two aircraft engine propellers was, were on simultaneously. One of the engines is eight meters above the ground. Later, the engines was swap places and two more locations were tested. There were three more repeat tests with total of 16 times. I'll show you the video now. It's a short video. Structural performance test. 50% of preload followed by four incremental loading to 100% of design pressures. The positive and negative design pressure should be determined in accordance to the SSEN 1991-1-4 or other wind design codes acceptable by the authority or by boundary layer wind tunnel testing. The structural performance criteria. For aluminum sections, the diffraction limit is span over 175 or span less than 4,110 mm and span over 140 plus 6.3 mm or the span more than or equal to 4,110 mm. For steel section, the diffraction limit is span wall 240. For glass four sided support, the diffraction limit is span over 60. For glass two sided support or fixed point, diffraction limit is span over 125 for monolithic and laminated glass and span over 175 for double glazed glass. For metal panels, diffraction limit is span over 125. 500 for permanent deformation. And for the support points or the anchorage, the diffraction limit should be less than one, so less than or equal to one mm. Horizontal movement test. The mid beams is moved horizontally to the specified movement for three cycles, left and right. The requirement is that there should be no gas breakage and, and permanent damage to frames, panels, fasteners, 
or anguish should occur. Vertical momentus. The middle beam is moved vertically to the specified movement for three cycles up and down. Requirement there should be no glass breakage, permanent damage to frames, panels, fasteners, or anchors should occur. Proof load test. Positive and negative pressures applied to 1.5 times the design pressures and maintained for at least 10 seconds. There should be no glass breakage, permanent damage to panels, fasteners, or anchors should occur. The permanent deformation should not exceed the span over 1,000. Building maintenance restraint load test. Tensile load is applied outward for 10 seconds, sideways, left or right for 10 seconds, upwards or downward for 10 seconds. There should be no disengagement and permanent deformation of the restraint. External features load test. Test to design wind pressures and live load, light loads live loads on external features such as sun shades and fins, point loads at critical locations for 15 seconds, example 1 kN, vertical load applied over an area of 300 mm on sun shade. There should be no sign of distress or failure. Other laboratory testing, thermal cyclic and condensation tests, Luo performance testing to BSEN 13030, and acoustic tests. For field testing, the air leakage test is tested in accordance to ASTM E783. A test chamber is built on the site where a blower is used to create the differential pressure, an airflow meter is to measure the air leakage of the facade. For the water tightness test to ARMA 501.2, water pressure of 30 to 35 PSI is sprayed to a special nozzle to the joint of the facades. Water tightness test, the broad method test in according to BCA conquest scheme. This is, this is a typical um, Singapore standard to use. Water tightness test to um, ASTM E1105. This is the pressure chamber method, like the ASTM E783 for the air, permitted, uh, air infiltration test. A chamber has to be built on site to create the differential pressure, and uh, water are sprayed by uh, arrays of water nozzles from the exterior of the building. And lastly, for fuel testing, we have a bracket fasteners test. 1.5 times design load is applied to 3% or minimum two fasteners per floor. We have a shear load and a tensile load. During testing, they are what the, the most common the most common uh, problem is the water leakage. This uh, photo shows some of the water leakage on the joints of the facade, and this photo shows leakage from the vents of the facade. Structural failure mostly occurred during proof load tests. The one photos on my left, so a broken, the glass is broken during the test. The middle photo show the metal panels being dislocated. One on the right show the whole window frames are being dislocated from the mock-up. We have another glass failure on the left. Metal panel dislocation on the middle. And the 
aluminum marlin is banned during testing on the right photo. The left photo shows metal panels being dislocation, dislocated. The middle photo shows the glass, the whole window frame has uh, been dislocated and uh, been fallen down. The one on the right shows the aluminum marlin materials has been teared off from the uh, from the bracket. And this photo shows the failure of the anchorage point. The top right hand corner where the steel bracket is bent and the below right hand is the um, the boat is being shared off. And um, BMU failure, the BMU restraint is um, bent. And lastly, I will show you a video of the structural failure during proof of test. Thank you.